Alrighty guys, uh, welcome to another stream. As you can see, uh, we've got Power Slave Exhumed here. Uh, this is something that's been in the works for a long time as far as I can tell. This is a remake of both console versions of Power Slave from back in the, uh, the mid-1990s, or Exhumed as it was known as uh, in Europe. Now. From what I understand, this isn't a full remake of both versions of the game, but it's more of like a, an amalgamation of both the Sega Saturn and Sony PlayStation versions, which had differences in like level design, enemy colors, and stuff like that, maybe even enemy layouts. Um, and this is supposedly the be-all, end-all uh, combination of both of those games. Um, this was done by Night Dive Studios, who uh, did stuff like Doom 64 and the Quake remaster and the Turok remasters and all that stuff. Uh, so, you know, we know we've got a really great studio behind this. I'm sure the quality is going to be fantastic. Um, I actually bought this earlier today. The game's been out for a day or two now, so we're playing this like, you know, very, very shortly after launch. And uh, I've only fired it up for about a couple of minutes earlier just to make sure that it actually works and that I can capture it and all that good stuff. Um, so I don't really know what we're getting into here. I, I don't intend this on being any sort of like full playthrough or anything like that. We're probably going to play for a few hours just to show off the game and, and, and you know, give you guys an idea of, of what it's like. Uh, as well as like for myself, just to kind of like, you know, see how it compares to the, the old versions of the game. Now, I did do a full playthrough of the Sega Saturn version years ago, as many of you guys know. What I thought was going to be a three hour long stream turned into a 10 hour one, and I ended up super salty uh, by the end. But uh, hopefully this fixes some of the issues that I had with that old Saturn version of the game. Uh, hopefully some of the frustrations aren't quite as, well, <laughs> aren't quite as intense in this uh, this remaster. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to see kind of like how this compares to, you know, the Saturn version in particular. I unfortunately haven't been able to play the PlayStation version in about 20 years now. So, you know, I just, when we did our Sega Saturn playthrough years ago, I basically had to look up videos of the PlayStation version just to see what the differences were. And there's some really interesting changes. So now I'll be really interested to know how they, you know, well, like what, what they, what they include from the Saturn version and what they include from the PlayStation version and, you know, see how they mix the two together. It could be really interesting. So, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of get into the options here. Uh, just a note, guys, I do have my uh, the standard latency on today. Normally, I do low latency when I stream, but apparently, the standard latency or normal latency, which is slower, um, you know, provides better video quality. So hopefully, we don't get as many artifacts and stuff like that. Because this is a 1080p game, at least I'm running it at that, with 60 FPS and whatnot. Uh, it, it might not look that great on stream. A lot of FPSs like this don't end up. Uh, looking too good, but I don't know. We'll, we'll just kind of see what happens. And just a heads up, so I wanted to, to basically preface uh, that or this with that because, like, my responses aren't going to be as quick as, as they might normally be on these streams. So, but I see there's uh, Adam out there, Freddy, Lawrence, Internet Junkie, Carl, John Smith, and Gustavo. Welcome, guys, to the stream. And a wild Ronnie Webster has appeared. Um, so yeah, we have a whole bunch of options, apparently. Uh, I haven't really gone through too many of these. Oh, it says allow checkpoints on. Okay. I actually had a question about that because I noticed when I popped in for a quick second earlier, there was, there was no quick saving as of doing this stream anyway. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it looks like we've actually got mid-level checkpoints. I think that's what that means. So I definitely want to leave that on because some of the... Uh, <laughs> there were no checkpoints in the original game. Basically, you had to go through every level without dying, and, you know, if you died, you had to redo the entire stage. And there was some really nasty level design uh, later on in this game, where you just... If you don't do something right, you die instantly, and then you gotta do the whole thing over again. It's extremely frustrating. So... <laughs> Adam says the Saturn playthrough was the first video he watched of mine. Oh man, I'm surprised you stuck around after watching that. That was a disaster of a playthrough. <laughs> Yeah, um, let's check out what our HUD settings are. Show playtime. Eh, let's turn that on. Why not? Show, show messages on. Crosshair size is zero. View bob speed. I'm gonna assume that all these options here are meant to try to replicate the original, you know, view bob and things like that. 
Uh, I've already looked at my um, my settings earlier, but this is kind of what it's like. It does support modern controllers as well as keyboard and mouse. We're going to be playing with keyboard and mouse. Uh, we are on PC, so... And it uh, looks like I can scroll up and down with my weapons with the mouse wheel. And let's go back. Mouse settings, mouse sensitivity. Uh, and we've got controller settings. Maybe you can set your dead zone too. That's nice. I, it's always like, a nice little feature. Uh, so audio settings. Okay, we've got these pretty much on defaults. Uh, display settings. So you've got multiple uh, shading modes. I'm not really sure what modulate and subtractive is. Uh, Anti-aliasing I'm going to leave on. Uh, resolution is high. I'm guessing that is more of like a... Um, you can get like a sharp aesthetic versus like maybe like a pixelated aesthetic. I think that's probably what that is. We'll just get, we're just going to leave everything on the default settings so you get to see what like, everything looks like on the sharp settings. You got a CRT filter, uh, anisotropic uh, filtering, uh, and yeah, you can change the field of view, which is actually pretty cool, and the brightness. Advanced display settings. I think these actually um, replicate like. Uh, geometry like issues that you had on like the Saturn and PlayStation hardware and uh, so we're gonna leave all those off but it's nice that they have those features in there uh, language settings quite a few languages here which is cool good for people in Europe um, video resolution uh, window mode full screen Vertical sync. I've got have. I will have V-Sync on this time. Normally, I leave it off when I play these games, but you know, it makes it easier on your eyes when I've got V-Sync on. And that's pretty much that. Hey, Michael, welcome back. <laughs> he says that stream was a real show of perseverance. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go to new game. I'll pick the top slot here, and I'm gonna leave it on the normal difficulty because I don't trust this game. Uh, but for those of you guys that have never played Power Slave before. This is a first-person shooter. It uh, came out, again, the pe well, <laughs> there were two different versions of the game, and then uh, two different core versions of the game, where you had the PC version, which was more like a Duke Nukem 3D clone, um, and you go from level to level, point A to point B, and that's pretty much it. Um, however, the console versions were like non-linear action-adventure games, sort of. It was a is an action-oriented first-person shooter, but you would have to like revisit previously done levels uh, as you got new power-ups that allowed you to access new areas and explore through the world. Um, so it's it's an interesting uh, think of it kind of like a Metroidvania, but in first-person form, and from the mid to late '90s. So, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and then just select this first area. It looks like you can hit the mouse. And uh, it looks like free look is pretty much enabled by default. And let me actually adjust my sensitivity here. All right, there we go. So yeah, we basically start off here. And man, it is it is buttery smooth. It's so nice compared to the PlayStation and Saturn versions. Um, yeah, this is our machete. We can actually uh, bust open these pots. Um, so you've got two different types of energy. You've got uh, the, the red spheres, uh, which gives you health back. And you've got blue spheres, which gives you ammunition back. And what I noticed earlier through playing this for a couple of seconds is that it still has the auto-aim. Sort of? Kind of? Um, it seems like it does. It seems like it's sort of like a, a hybrid where it's like, it, sometimes it'll auto-aim, but sometimes it won't. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. I just have to play it some more and get used to it. Yeah, the uh, the automatic free look is actually quite a nice uh, change. In the uh, Saturn and PlayStation versions, you had to actually use your uh, various keys on the controller to uh, to to get auto aim going. Not auto aim. What am I talking about, man? I can't talk today. To get your aim, your vertical aim going. Now, I don't believe the blue scorpions were in the Saturn version. I think that's a PlayStation thing, if I remember correctly. Saturn just has like the little jumpy red dudes. So it, I can already see how they're like piecing the two versions together, and that's actually really cool. Looks like my uh, my machete has some pretty good distance too. Yeah, that's nice. 
So, you know, especially in the early parts of the game, you probably don't want to bust open pots with, uh, you know, your pistol. You want to save that ammo. This is just kind of like your training stage, just, just to get you used to the controls and whatnot, get you used to some of the mechanics. And, uh... Oh, you know, I meant to actually let the, uh, the introduction sequence play, and I totally forgot to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip through that. For anyone that wants to play it, uh, some of the story in this game is actually kind of cool. So, I know you probably wouldn't, couldn't actually hear the the voice too well. All right, so we started off at Tomb of Ramses. Uh, so we actually come here uh, to Karnak, and this is one of our main areas. All right, and there's our camel. We're gonna actually have to end up coming back to, I think, uh, you know, access him and he'll take us to another area. And on default settings, you use WSAD to move. And uh, E, as in echo, is your activate key. Thankfully, your little power-up orbs and spheres, they, they kind of just stay. They don't despawn as far as I'm aware. So that's actually a nice feature. Yeah, keep in mind that, remember, the, this game was originally for PlayStation and Saturn, and so, you know, you get a look that's a lot like uh, those classic versions of the game. And again, you can pop this into, like, low-res mode uh, to make it look even more authentic. Night Dive has a trailer that shows that, that off, where it basically shows the low-resolution mode and how it com compares to the original games. It's pretty cool. One thing I was really hoping for was a conversion of the original PC game. And as far as I'm aware, that's not in here. Uh, I really would have loved like a modern source port of the original uh, PC Power Slave. And we got a map. And I don't think we can actually get here yet. No, we can't, but we'll come back here later. Uh, so you notice that the the jump there is just way too high. We'll eventually get some sandals. I don't know if it's the sandals or if it's something else that allows us to jump higher. But we'll get a power up that allows us to jump higher. And uh, let's see. Don't want to fall down there, and I don't know if I could open this yet. Nope, I don't have the key for this, but we will get that later. I don't have any keys right now. Um, there aren't... Oops! I was going to say, there aren't any keys down there. Yeah, we'll eventually get something that allows us to sort of float over. And man, it's so weird. I'm half expecting it to just auto-aim all day long. Oh, there's our key. Symbol of War. Get rid of that guy. We're gonna get ourselves a better weapon here in uh, just a couple of maps, or maybe even the next map. Hey, Kevin. You really hate when YouTube never leaves the starting soon sc uh, screen. Well, if you see the starting soon screen stop, uh, stop animating, then you know that, like, something's broken. That should be the dead giveaway. Because I don't see why it would constantly loop it over and over. But yeah, that is frustrating. It's not the first time I've heard someone say that. And hey, Scruff, welcome back. Karnak Sanctuary. Yeah, this is interesting. I don't... Was this room in the Saturn version? I don't... I don't know. I, I, sh I actually, you know, funny enough, I played the Saturn version just a little bit, like a month ago. And I've already forgotten, like, 
how some of the early areas are laid out. I don't remember like all these columns and stuff like that. I wonder if this is like taken more from the PlayStation version. Oh, and interesting, those guys, they're actually falling over. In the Saturn version, they, they like jib. They just kind of like explode and make squishy noises. Very interesting. Whoa, and this is actually also kind of interesting. It's like, this hallway is like, just barely larger than the size of my character. And I'm liking the, uh, the machine gun feels pretty good in this one. Like, it's actually, it's actually working pretty well. I remember in the Saturn version, like, a lot of the bullets wouldn't connect with the enemies, which could be frustrating. It says I need the symbol. I need the symbol of war. Oh. Huh. Wonder why I didn't uh, see that. Those icons are pretty small in this version. Interesting. Oh, they incorporated mid-level checkpoints like, uh, th this is what the PC version does. Clever, Night Dive. Clever. I like it. I, I was really worried that, um, there would be, like, no mid-level checkpoints or anything, because, again, like I said, there's some nasty level design in this game. And if they kept it like the console versions, where you had to go through the level all over again when you died, then that would be just extremely unpleasant to work with. Oh, there. Uh, Michael, I don't watch sports, man, so... I got no answer for you. Uh, I think I actually have to go backwards. Oh, that's right, that falls. Let me try this again. I don't know if that... That platform should respawn, I would think. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright. Well, never mind. So much for that. Alright, let's come on down here. There we go. Yeah, switching weapons is a lot easier, too. Like, because I can use the numeric keypad, or the number keys, I can just switch right to the weapon that I want, instead of having to endlessly, like, scroll through everything I've got. Although, since I'm not used to switching weapons like that in Power Slave, I don't really know which weapons are bound to which keys just yet. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking a strategy with the checkpoints would be to, like, like, for instance, in this case, Instead of grabbing the checkpoint right away, like, go through, do this whole area, go back through there like I did, come back, then hit the checkpoint, and I guess that should theoretically save everything I've done up to that point? Whoa there. Let's see if we can come back and get this. Okay, I think that just gives us all of our health back. Because I have max health right now, and I just, I can't do anything with it. Oh, another checkpoint. Never mind. Whatever I was just saying is kind of redundant. <laughs> Alright, so we want to avoid these uh, fireballs. Yeah, there's not much room to squeeze by these bullets. Uh, so, that's interesting. Yeah, the... the Oh man, the free look is so nice in this. It makes the game so much easier to play. Uh, don't want to fall down there. That's actually where I first got I got my first key. So let's come back this way, maybe. Uh, no, that's actually not really where I want to go. I think let's fall down here. All right, I guess I have to do that all over again. Oh, let's grab that. Get some ammo. Now we'll eventually come back here too. We'll have to go over to that pillar. 
That's actually, it looks like a full ammo power up. Yeah, it makes it interesting they don't uh, explode. They just kind of like fall over. Very interesting. I wonder if the, the falling over was a PlayStation thing. If anyone's watching that's like an expert in the PlayStation version of the game, let me know like what's the same between that version and what we're playing right now. Because again, I haven't been able to touch the PlayStation version in a very long time. I actually, you know what's funny, I had thought about buying a copy a couple years ago, it was like 50 bucks. And I was like, nah, it's too expensive. Yeah, now the game costs like more than double that. <laughs> if you want a complete copy, so... I've given up on owning the PlayStation version of this game. Yeah, so we got the sandals, uh, increases jumping ability. And so, now I can jump nice and high. One thing I really love, too, is the fact that, um... One thing I love is the fact that I can, uh, there, there's like, no load times. It's, it's great. Alright, so back to Karnak. And I think actually jumping up here will just allow us to go back to the Tomb of Ramses. So I was actually kind of mistaken earlier when I said like we'd have to come back and... And uh, yeah. We don't. Man, I have a feeling like I'll be able to blaze through this game a lot faster with keyboard and mouse and uh... Sort of knowing where I'm going. Sort of, kind of, not really. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can jump over here yet. Oh, I can. Cool. Awesome. So we get our next key. Jump back over. Yep, and that takes us here. And actually, th I think this is an optional area, if I remember correctly. It it's been a while since I've played a significant portion of Power Slave. You know, the last playthrough I did was years ago on my channel here. And, um, yeah, man, was that a frustrating experience, so. So actually, that first room I had shown off earlier, that's where, that's where I have to go. That little area where, um, there was a, there was a place I couldn't jump to. So this is, uh, I don't think I actually go there yet. We're gonna... Kill some more guys. It's actually probably wiser to be using my machete. I don't remember the uh, the flying insects spawning this early. I wonder if that's like a PlayStation edition. Okay, let's switch back. Fill that up a little bit. All right, well that was a waste. Some ammo. There we go. Alright, so in here. Alright, so now we can jump up here. Oh, ammo. More ammo. Hey, Flynn, thank you very much for that. I don't think I can actually jump over there just yet. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna actually try it again. It almost feels like it's doable. And it's not even really anything. <laughs> Darn. We got it though. Uh, yes, Michael. I have a full playthrough of the first one on my channel here. And Flynn, thanks for that again. <laughs> Double whammy. All right, so back pass. All right, so uh, yeah, it's not really anything else we can do here. Um, if you hear it beeping, that means there's like a, a gadget. Uh, you have to get pieces to. I totally forgot what it was because it's been a while since I played. And you know what I just realized is uh, 
Nah, you know, I'm gonna leave it on the screen. I was gonna say, we can get rid of the timer. I don't really need the timer there, but eh, whatever. Yeah, I can tell that this is, uh, this is unique. Um... This was... I don't believe this room was in the sadder version of the game. Alright. Switch back. Alright. Yeah, I don't recall this room at all in the sadder version. Pretty sure in the sadder one, you just kind of start out here in the open. Again, don't quote me on that. It's been a little while since I played it. A little, little, little while I've gotten this far in the Saturn version, which isn't very far. <laughs> yeah, perhaps, Kevin, perhaps. <laughs> Had a dude leave like a really nasty comment uh, last week because I happened to get a donation on stream. It was like, stop e begging. I'm like, I just didn't even respond to the dude. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate all the support. I don't ask for it. No one has to support me. Um, I can support myself. But, the tips are appreciated. Gaming like this does not pay for itself. Alright, let's, uh, let's come on down here. Yeah, just for anybody curious about this game, it is, as of, like, launch right now, it is actually on sale for a few bucks cheaper than it normally will be. It's normally 20 bucks. Um... But if you buy it right now, it's like 17 99 So, two bucks off. Yeah, okay. The transmitter. Hey, blank face! And, yeah, so this is what's kind of scary about this, is that, like, we still haven't hit a checkpoint yet, so if I fail this, I die. And, uh... Thankfully, the movement feels a little bit better, like, I'm not slipping off platforms like I would in the, uh, the Saturn version of the game. Oh, this... Slipping off platforms in that version was so, so bad. So, like, in that version, if you, if you got halfway off the ledge like this, you would just... You would slip off. Oh, look at this! Look at that. I'm like three quarters of the way off the the ledge. And, uh... Yeah, so I can already tell the platforming in this is gonna be a lot more consistent. Yeah, this this feels a lot more like Quake, which is great. That's a huge, huge improvement. Like, that, that's a feature that really bugged me in the uh, original console versions of Power Slave. Just like the slipping off the platforms. Yeah, I mean, Lobotomy, they had an amazing engine for the time for a console game, but there were some major downsides to it. And it happens in all three of their games. I believe it's Duke Nukem 3D and Quake and Power Slave. I believe they all have the same issue where, like, you get partway off the ledge and then you'll just slip off of it. And it's super aggravating, especially considering these are very platform heavy games. You know, Power Slave in particular has tons of platforming, and a lot of it, if you don't do it successfully, it causes an instant death, or something close to it. Ow. Yeah, so if you look at my health bar, you'll notice that there's a, a red dot. That means I have a full second health bar on top of the one that I'm currently uh, using. Or I'm currently, uh, I've currently got. So I'm obviously missing something here. Um, I don't think I can... Oh, okay. See, I don't think I can make it up there. And... Yeah, I've already, I've already done this. Oh, no, that's right, I had to come here. Yeah, this looks familiar to me. Oh, checkpoint. Uh, did I already come in here? I might have already come in here and I just completely forgot. Oh, no. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. There we go. I thought there was something over here. Enemies, yep. Alright, good deal. Hey, Shivani, thank you very much. 
Oh, man. I wasn't really expecting the stream today, but then I saw that this game hit, and I was like, you know, it's my early day today. I can go ahead and pick up this game, maybe do a few hour long stream after work. But I tried streaming last week after work, and I was just so burnt out, I wasn't really feeling it. And I feel a little bit better this week. I think I have gotten better sleep this week, though, which definitely helps. I'm guessing these things are going to start shooting out after I grab this. Yep, predictable. Woo! That felt close. That's the uh, one of the camel sounds I use for demons in Doom. Uh, specifically, like, the imps. Sobek Mountain Shrine. So I'm pretty sure this game just auto saves for you. For anyone that was wondering. So I don't have to bring up save menus or anything like that. I assume the save system is reliable. <laughs> I don't know because the game is still new. But it's night dive. I would assume it's it's pretty good. You know, night dive. It's a it's a sharp crew of, of uh, individuals. So. Hey, Fat Shark. Yeah, Patchy's good, Fat. She's uh, she's in the other room. She is good. Now, we are playing on the normal difficulty. Uh, normally, I like to play these things on, like, the higher difficulty settings. But because I have PTSD from playing the Saturn version of Power Slave years back, uh, I decided we would just go ahead and leave it on, like, comfy mode. This power up I've got lets me shoot much more rapidly. Okay, I need a key for that. I need a key. I mean, I don't remember, but I, I want to say that the PlayStation version of this level is very different from... Or very, like... Very much busier than, like, the Saturn version. Uh, great, we got the lasers. Those are... I'm pretty sure those lasers are, like, instant death. Lasers like that start to appear all over, like, the later... Ow! Parts of the game. Okay, so did I get... No, I don't think I got the key. There's a key up top, key up there. And I definitely cannot get up that. And, I don't know, let's try this again? I thought I came over here and there was a dead end. Oh, I must have grabbed the key without even realizing it. Too busy shooting things, you know, which is part of the fun in these games. Let's go ahead and switch over to our pistol. All right, switch back to this. Yeah, you can use the pistol to try to snipe, you know, objects and enemies and things like that, as opposed to using your, uh, your Gatling gun. Another checkpoint. Gatling gun is much better against, like, bigger enemies, though. Whoa there. I didn't even see you. So... This switch, I think... Yeah, okay. I see. Whoa there. 
can already start to see how mean some of these levels can get. Because look at that, if you just fall down there haphazardly, you're gonna die. Pretty much instantly. Guessing I have to fall down? Oh look, I landed right on the checkpoint. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so far, uh, I'm liking this. It's, uh, there's, there's some nice quality of life improvements that I think, uh, really helps the game. I wonder how many of these platforms will just, like, fall on me. Ow. That hurt. Symbol of Earth Health. Which is that, I'm guessing. I was gonna say, you know, I could probably just jump from one platform to the other, but then I realized that there was actually, like, a sharp ridge up top, so if I tried to jump, I'd probably... Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, no, they won't let you. All right. Yeah, let's try this again. Ding! I like the checkpoint sounds. Hey, Aquas, how's it going, man? I can't remember, Aquas, did you ever play through Power Slave on your stream? Like, maybe the Saturn version or something like that? Alright, Symbol of Time. Where do I use the Symbol of Time? Down there. <laughs> right in front of me. Alright, Sobek Mask allows breathing underwater. Oh man, don't even get me started on the underwater levels. Okay, so I'm gonna have to fall down here. Yeah, you did beat the Saturn version. Okay, cool. I had a feeling you did. You probably told me about it at one point. Too many tasty beverages has uh, fogged my memory. You have succeeded in collecting yet another chip. All right. Cool. Go back to Karnak. We're gonna be going to Karnak a lot. Uh, so now I have the ability to uh, to breathe underwater. So that's gonna take us to, I guess, our next area. Hey, Retro Simon. That was already like two years ago, right? It, you know, when you stream as often as we, we both do, uh, it, 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 time flies. Seriously, no joke. You know, Akos, man, it feels just like yesterday you completed Bug. Two years ago is... Man, that's a lot of game time, though, you know? But it doesn't feel like it's, you know, it's that long. Alright, so... I guess if I wanted to... I can come down here. I don't think it's gonna really do me any good, but... i just gotta do it anyway. Oh, that's actually worth it. That's full ammo. 819 2020. 
So it's been eh, closer to like a year and a half, but it's, you know, a little more than a year and a half. Um, yeah, that was weird. Uh, and I'm trying to remember... That's right, I need to come uh, this way. I mean, I could... There might be some place I can go up here, but I, I remember there being uh, water over uh, in the other direction. Like, there's some water down here. Yeah, I don't have the key for that. Aquas, did you ever do anything else on Saturn, first-person shooter-wise, like Quake or uh, Duke 3D or anything like that? And just another reminder, guys, I've got the stream on uh, normal latency today, so I'm not going to be able to respond as, as quickly. So if, if I delay getting back to you, it's probably... If, <laughs> if I'm asking you questions anyway, and it sounds like they're really far apart, that's why. Right. I should really love how crisp this looks. Yeah, yeah, the beefy machine gun. I will say the machine gun is definitely improved in the uh, original PC version of Power Slave. It's one of those things where it's like... Uh, Like, it shoots constantly, and you'll, uh, you know, you'll do more rapid damage with it. It's quite nice. Very good-feeling weapon in the PC version. So we just got, uh, an Ankh, which gives us a uh, maximum health increase, which is nice. Hey, Agostino, thank you very much for that, sir. Agostino says, the developers said they used the PS1 version gameplay settings for the underwater sections because they disliked the Saturn one in that regard. I don't blame them. I mean, I have, like I said, I've got PTSD still from <laughs> playing through the Saturn version. And uh, a lot of that was because of some of the water stages. Uh, it stacks up great, Simon. I highly recommend it so far. It's, it's very cool. Whoa there. That wasn't fun. Um... Alright, let's, um... Unfortunately, my short-term memory is not the best. Alright, so... Remember there was... there was a locked door. Is it up here? Yeah, because there's a checkpoint up here. I will take that ammo, and then... Yep, okay. Assuming I'm going to have to jump all the way across. There we go. Yeah, not gonna lie, I think this is gonna be the best way to play the game from here on out. Is, uh, you know, playing a modern port of the game. Something down there. Let's jump across here if we can. And there's not really anything, so I guess I have to go down. Those guys jib quite nicely. Now, to man, I do you guys remember if the console versions had difficulty settings? I don't remember there being a difficulty setting. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, this camel really gets around. Who needs, like, you know, weapon upgrades and stuff, and you could just 
like, turn into a camel or something. Camels just seem to be, like, majestic in this game. They just can go wherever they want. Oh, I remember the mines. I remember this level being frustrating. Whoops, let's not. Yeah, you can actually back into your camel if you want to exit the map. Silver Knight says, don't think there were difficulty levels. Yeah, I don't remember there being any. So, that's very interesting. I'm gonna have to look into like what the differences are between this game's normal mode and just the defaults that you have to play with on the old console versions. I tried to camel try and power slave, then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> Did I barely ever played camel try? Yeah, we have to end up jumping up there if I recall correctly. Checkpoint. Yeah, it also helps that this is like a super slick frame rate. Get up there just yet. Hey, Paul, how's it going? He says PS1 version has three difficulties. Okay, interesting. Yeah, because I don't remember the Saturn version having any difficulties. So I got this uh, grenade, which is nice. You can actually, like, grenade jump with it if you want, but it's kind of risky. Yeah, and I can't get up there yet. Silver Knight says, uh, he heard hard mode adds more hit points and damage output on the en enemies, and Nightmare has enemies attack more often with faster projectiles. Yeah, I don't think there was a Nightmare difficulty selectable. Uh, maybe that's something that is unlocked? That sounds interesting. Nice. Yeah, this is a pretty nice weapon, especially in this version where you can just like bust it out nice and, you know, quick and easy. You do need some more ammo though. Hello. Not as fun as doing that in something like Quake. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright. It's great, I got health, but I need some ammo. Oh, you can still jib them with uh, the grenades, it's cool. Nice little detail. Alright, switch back to this. There we go. Yeah, and all because I like the ambient music too. That ironically just disappeared. <laughs> Oh, no, it's coming back. Alright, 
Let's do the machine gun. Machine gun again. No, let's do the grenades. You kind of need the grenades to blow through certain walls. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I don't want to fall down there. I'm pretty sure if I do, I will die. I might need the uh, the sandals, not sandals. Um, pretty sure that I don't remember if it's like a feather or, or something like that. It's something that lets you like float down. So I'm pretty sure we can't actually go there yet. What do we have over here? Oh, nice. He can actually destroy the uh, the barrels. That's cool. I wonder if he can destroy it. Oh, nice. Thanks, buddy. Can we be friends? Okay, I'm being a smart ass and I'm going to die. <laughs> The times I always die are the times I'm being a smartass. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Paul, so that's kind of how the Saturn version is, too. It's, uh... The platforming is really nasty in, in both games, and... At least in the Saturn version, there are no mid-level checkpoints. So if you die, you've got to do the entire stage over again. It's extremely frustrating. Are you kidding me? I don't have the uh, the power up or the key. It might be under, or it might be in that water. So let's go up in here. Splash! Crap! I don't have much health. I guess I can technically just inch back and forth like that. Door is sealed. No, you gotta be kidding me. <gasps> Welcome to the maze like aspect of Power Slave. <laughs> Where you get lost rather easily. Oh, well, that explains things. Uh, out of ammo. Let's just use my machete. Yeah, you can take advantage of the fact that your machete has pretty good range. Oh, in the PS1 version, you can save at certain spots. Really? Really, really, really. Yeah, see, the Saturn version doesn't have those. There are no, like, mid-level checkpoints in the Saturn version at all. So that's interesting. Um, Foey asks, does the Saturn version play like the Quake Broken Mess? Uh, it, it plays better than Quake, definitely. <laughs> It still has a lot of problems, in my opinion, that makes it uh, less than ideal to play. I guess I have to actually lower this. It's not, it's not coming down. Yeah, I mean, it, it's got it, it. Something. A lot of things are better about it, but others, other things are still kind of, kind of, kind of crappy, if you ask me. Um, like uh, I, I was explaining it earlier in Saturn Quake and. Power Slave and Duke Nukem even I believe is like if you sit on a ledge like this you'll just automatically slip right off of it which makes platforming like extremely difficult um, 
Yeah, that happens both in, uh... <sighs> Man, okay, so that happens both in Saturn Quake and, uh, Power Slave, unfortunately. But the general combat and stuff is definitely better in Power Slave on Saturn. You know, if we're comparing that strictly to, uh, Saturn Quake. Alright, um... Let's try to go back. I'm definitely missing something. Like, I know I have to... Oh, that door actually takes us over to this area. Go figure. I mean, I could, like, grenade jump if I wanted to. Um, don't think I can really do anything with this. I've already been here. Oh, PlayStation Paul says, yeah, when entering or leaving an area, you could save. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, I meant, uh, like, mid-level checkpoints. Like, so this whole area is just one big stage. And then you've got these little, um... I don't know if they're scarabs or, you know, uh, beetles, whatever you want to call them. They'll allow you to, to uh... You know, have a checkpoint, so if you die, you, you go back to them. As opposed to having to go to the beginning of a stage. Um... So, where is it? So these guys right here, these are checkpoints. Like, these are not in the Saturn version. This is what I'm talking about right here. This was in the original PC Power Slave, but not the Saturn, the Saturn game. So yeah, uh, if you want to clarify, Paul, if you're talking about these guys, this game, as far as like, completely saving your progress, that's, that's just, uh, it just auto saves. Oh, I just realized there's something down here. Hey, hey, look at that. I don't even see that. Yeah, Saturn version, I'm pretty sure you, you just save at the beginning or end of a level, and that's that's it. Which means you have to do the entire level over again if you, if you die. Okay, so that's cool that we got that, but it's not really what I wanted. Uh, DeForce, I mean, that's... That, you just... Honestly, yeah... You can get lost decently well enough. But the levels, honestly, they're not that complex. So, like, I, I feel like most people should be able to, like, figure out their way through this game. That's actually really interesting. I don't think the water waves up and down in the Saturn one. I don't remember it doing that. Very cool. Um, uh, let's see. Has this lowered? It's not lowered. Um, uh, okay. All right, what am I missing? Oh, that's right. Open up that wall. <laughs> totally forgot about the wall. Seriously, no joke. I completely forgot about it. There we go. See, it's not that hard. You just gotta actually explore. Hey, Sean, welcome back. Oh, so Paul says no, it does not have those checkpoints. Okay. Yeah, no, exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about, Paul. Like, it's very frustrating. <laughs> you want to hear some F-bombs dropped, you can watch my Saturn stream from years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... it's bad. It's one of the reasons I was looking forward to this version, because, like, last time I played Power Slave on Saturn, I, I, le I left kind of salty. I never really wanted to play it again. Right. So this is what we saw earlier. Full health. Uh, let's see. I guess I can just do that. <laughs> nice. Um, I don't like 
that. I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. Let's see. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> it's just mean. Now, remember that if we were playing the, the PlayStation or Saturn version, if I died right before the camel, I would have had to go all the way back and do that entire level over again. Set Palace. Yeah, I mean, Paul, that's exactly what people love about this game, is the fact that it is basically like a first-person Metroidvania before Metroid Prime. You know, so... It's like, I, I get why people enjoyed it, for me, it was just like a lot of the like like you mentioned the platforming and uh, just the overall like oh man just the overall nature of like the level design it was very mean extremely mean as if like the developers hated the player um, and the fact that there was no you know mid level saving or anything like that. Uh, made it very much a chore to get through the game. Oh, I can actually just climb up there. One of these days, I want to try to go through the PC version of the game. I actually uh, had bought the European version of it a few years back, installed it on my Windows 98 machine. Played like an hour or two of it, and some levels are really cool, others are not. Um, yeah, I don't know. I never went back to it, never finished it. Man, I'm just like out of like everything right now. Jeez. Yeah, Ronnie, I you know, I think you're gonna like the game. I really do. So really curious to hear your thoughts once you get like a decent ways through it. Hey, Aberdeen. Oh, jeez, that sucks. Alright, well... <laughs> I know I can get back up, but... I don't really have any ammo to deal with these guys. Wow. That was entertaining. I heard something appear here. Alright, let's just go back the other way. No ammo, no ammo, no ammo. Power sleep. <laughs> Seriously, I tried jumping. <laughs> Glad to see some Saturn jank is still here. I pressed the jump button and nothing happened. I, I bet you what happened is my movement is so fast that I, I went airborne for a split second. And when you're airborne, you can't jump. What's up here? Oh, probably would have been useful to have that anyway. Ronnie says he's liked the hour or so he's played it. Uh, Paul, this does not have quick saving. Nope. That was the first thing that kind of bugged me, is I thought it was gonna have quick saving, because, you know, I think pretty much all of Night Dive's other games have had it. Well, I don't know if that's true or not, because I never did, like... Did they do the Shadow Man remake? 
I assume they did. They're like the only ones that appreciate games like that. Ah, well, that's not good. Yeah, there's literally no point in me actually blowing those up. I don't actually have to go there. Yeah, it just leaves me over here. Weapon power, very nice. See, that was worth it. That'll make life a lot easier. Jeez. Ow. I'll eventually get a, a snake weapon like that serpent, like a serpent staff or something that allowed me to shoot uh, these like green, well at least in Saturn I think it was green homing like snake projectiles. It's pretty cool. Ronnie says he played the remake of Shadow Man and still cannot get into that game. That's one I wanna I wanna try to go back and try again. I played the Dreamcast version a long time ago. Never got very far though. I mean that's like the, the case with a lot of games I played. <laughs> it's like played it, but never got very far. Too many games, too little time. This is the beginning. That's right, this is where my first key was. Ow, man. It, see, it looks like you could just, like, slip right past that. No, you can't. Oh, no, that's just... That's just wrong. <laughs> I don't even... I don't know if the lava kills you instantly, or if it's just like... Yeah, it'll take a little bit of damage. Alright, I want to say... If I hit this, he's gonna shoot at me. Yep. Yeah, because there was this over here I wanted to hit. Ah, just full ammo. Okay. Full health. Don't really need that. Ronnie says the Turok remasters are actually quite nice. Yeah, I, that's what I've always heard. I still haven't messed around with them. And Ronnie, I think, even gifted me one of them. <laughs> I don't remember if it was Turok 1 or 2 Ronnie at this point. Jeez, dude. Right, maybe I can actually use that full health now. <laughs> that's why you don't pick up items like that unless you absolutely need them. Hmm. Okay. 
<laughs> achievement unlocked. I meant to do that. I think it was because the enemy fell down a pit and died. Hmm. Um. I don't want to exit unless I absolutely have to. I feel like I might have to. I think I have to. Hey, Cafe Man. Yeah, it, it seemed like it. So far. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Okay, I almost vaguely remember that. I'm gonna have to remember to actually come back here. Um. So was it? Were we just in Set Arena? No, we weren't. I was gonna say. I was like, huh? Oh, this might be our first boss, actually. I don't remember. So we're gonna find out. It's my favorite tune in the game. This plays more often than the PC game. Yeah, this is a boss fight. Queen Tag! Sorry, every time I open up a big door and there's a big boss, I think of the Wolfenstein 3D bosses. <laughs> Oh, nice. Jeez, that took a lot of ammo. Yeah, <laughs> I like the camel emoji, Sean. Nice one. Nice if I could go back because they were uh, was like full weapon energy. Yeah, here we go. Press and hold jump button when falling to float down. Hell yeah. Oh, you have to press it again. Okay, you can't just jump and hold down the jump button. <laughs> That's not Mecha Hitler. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so if I wanted to, I could uh, go back to Karnak, try to get uh, some weapon energy back, which is not a bad idea, honestly. I mean, honestly, what I could do... Let me go back here real quick, because... And this is actually a, kind of a good trick if it's going to work. Uh, crap, it's not going to work. <laughs> I wonder if I can go back to the map. Let's see. See, so yeah, I wanted to get that, and then that. I wonder if the... Let's see. Uh, damn, you can't. Okay, I was... I was blah, blah, blah. It would have been really cool if I could just, like, go back to my uh, map screen. Oh, hey, check that out. 
Sweet. Okay, that's a really good tip. Go back to this area. Get your full weapon energy. Yeah, I like that. Get fully powered up, basically. Oh, and you know what I want to try, actually, is... Uh, I have an idea. See if we can just, like, skip most of these enemies. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to kill some of these guys. There's one thing I wanted to try here, and that was getting the Ankh that gives me a... Uh, a health increase. And we'll take this. Right here, let's see. Damn. Oh, did I get the checkpoint? I did. Okay, this is this could actually be really handy. Let's see. <laughs> I'm wondering if I can get it. No, I can't get to it. You know what it is? There's a power if we get um There's a power if we get later on where I think you can literally just hover in the air. And so we need to get that power up. I, I'm pretty sure that's a power up in this game because there's a later parts of the game where you have to like hover in the air and get I don't know like position yourself around lasers and stuff like that. It's it's really weird. All right. So as far as where we need to go, we need to go back to the mines because remember there was that like super long gap or drop. Man, you are not... These grenades are actually not that powerful unless, like, you get a direct hit. <laughs> yeah, the grenades actually feel pretty good to use because a lot of these smaller enemies, they just die in one hit. come back through here again. Man, I just love how fast this plays with, you know, just this, this modern engine. It's so nice. Don't get me wrong, like, the Saturn and PlayStation, PlayStation versions, you know, they were, they were really solid games for their time, but man, this just feels like light years ahead of them. There's my pit. All right. Cavern of Peril. All right. Get 
guessing I have to come down here. Yep. The door is sealed. That door is sealed. 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 Hey, Colin, thank you very much for that. Um, also, I feel like I missed someone else's super chat earlier. And I feel really bad for that. Oh, no, it was Agostino. Okay, cool. I was a little worried there. <laughs> I was a little worried I forgot to shout out Ag Agostino. Yeah, thank you very much, Colin. He says, this brings back memories. Got it on the Saturn, but never finished it. This looks like a nice upgrade. Yeah, it is very nice. Highly recommended so far. I feel like I'm probably going to just continue to say that because I haven't had many issues so far. Smoking. <laughs> Take that fall damage. I have a Tanuki leaf. Yeah, the floating mechanic here is not quite as graceful as the Tunuki Leaf. But it works. It gets the job done. Alright, so I can't go there. Can't go there. I can go here. Okay. Yeah, one of the things about, uh, you know, Power Slave is the gunplay is not, like, anything special, to be honest with you. Like, as far as the console versions were concerned. Um, you know, you're not doing crazy amounts of dodging and stuff like that. It's not like Doom where you're, you know, avoiding tons and tons of projectiles. Um, the console versions of Power Slave are definitely more about, like, the adventure aspect, like, the exploration. Which is fine, you know. Um, I don't need that stuff, so I'm gonna leave it there, just in case I need it later. Uh, DeForce, it is. Yeah, it is done with the Kex engine. Yeah, something I haven't mentioned is that all weapons use the same ammo pickups. Except they each have their own pool of ammunition. It's just how do you want to recharge your ammo. You just basically switch to the weapon that you want, and then you, you just pick up your blue spheres. <laughs> blue sphere. It's like a Sonic 3. Okay, so... Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me, dude. Oh, that sucks. Well, that helps. I'll take that. Alright, I could probably bust through this. Ooh, okay, I'm kind of glad that happened. I <laughs> just got a permanent health increase. Now, this... this Acid stuff is just like extremely dangerous right now. If I remember correctly, I think it kills you instantly. Kind of like the fire or lava. Don't quote me on that. It's been a while since I've touched it. I'm I'm not gonna try unless I have to. Um. Okay.
All right, let's try this again. All right, nice. Yeah, and of course the checkpoint was just right beyond that. Grab that. Uh, okay, I can make that. A little tight. <laughs> the Well of Souls. Uh, so I was wondering... Was there something else I wanted? I mean, obviously I have to come back here. That's the one where, like, I have to lower a gate of some kind. Um, Alright, I guess we're just gonna do this. See if I can go anywhere here. Okay, nope. Such a chill soundtrack at this point. You just really zone out. Yeah, right. I, I had mentioned that earlier, Ronnie, about the Doom Imp sound. Those of you guys wondering, your minigun, it actually shoots out three bullets automatically. So you just press the button once. You don't want to hold it down. Um, at least in the console versions from back in the day. I'm, I keep saying back in the day because this is technically out on modern consoles as well. Uh, we are playing on PC, but it is on like Xbox One, PS4, probably Nintendo Switch. Um, but you want to just like tap the fire button because in the older console versions, a lot of your shots just in, would end up not registering because there's like, I guess maybe <laughs> uh, the bullets would just come out too quickly, I guess. And so not all of them would actually connect. And so you'd just be wasting ammo. So that's how I kind of recommend doing this. And there's still a little bit of auto aim involved. So you don't really have to worry about aiming too directly pretty nice. FYE, Ronnie, is still in business? I didn't know they were still around. I thought they had all shut down. That's crazy. Sean says, yes, it's also on the Switch. Okay, nice, nice. Thanks, Sean. Uh, I don't know if I really want to come down here just yet, or I guess we'll go ahead and try it. Uh-oh, not good. Nah, okay, it doesn't kill you instantly, but it still does a ton of damage. That was scary. Yep, they're still hanging on. Interesting. is sealed. Hmm. 
Might have to take a break here in a minute to use the restroom. Unlike last Friday, I was smart. I actually got some lunch before I uh, started the stream. That also means I pounded down a bunch of Diet Coke. Switch up to our flamethrower. A little bit better than my pistol. Hey, Ben. I wanted to fall down. Yep. Okay, so that door is open. Oh, man. Yeah, this version is pretty sweet. I'm having a pretty good time with it. Not being as stressed out about dying and doing the whole level over again, I think, has helped. Fall down. Um, that was the door. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Forgot I killed these guys through the window. All right, so I got a key. Don't remember where the key door is. I guess we'll have to. Maybe it's right here? It's right there. Hey, camel buddy. Nile Gorge. Why, yes, I will. Thank you. Oh, man. All right, let me, uh... Holy crap, we've been playing for an hour and a half already? Jeez, time flies. All right. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. I will be right back. I'm not going to put it up in a way message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had thought about doing that shot, and I was like, yeah, you know, they might find that annoying. Mm, where do I go? Oh, right there. Out of ammo, apparently, on the machine gun. Alright, 
Alright, seriously, dude. Alright, that's a little bit better. Ow. Alright, that doesn't open just yet. Oh, I vaguely remember this level. I think I actually died here quite a bit on my uh, Saturn playthrough. I think that's why I remember it. came from actually yeah that's gonna eventually lower I'm sure don't think jumping down there is gonna do me a whole lot of good except for a, a checkpoint might not actually be the worst idea Yeah, I, re I remember this, man. <laughs> I must have died here a crazy amount of times. For me to remember it. Oh yeah, and that I don't think I can even get to yet. Yeah, no. We need a, uh, we need a power up for that. We probably need the, either that platform we're gonna hit a switch and it's gonna come over here, or we're gonna get our power up that lets us, like, float in the air. Not just hover, but, like, actually float. So that's pretty much that. Hmm. That's right, I probably got a key. Did I get a key? Uh, it doesn't actually tell you what keys you have, does it? I don't think it does. Maybe if I go to, like, my, um, hit escape, or maybe it's, uh, hmm, maybe it's some other option, like, some other key. Oh, yeah, that's dangerous. Yeah, and I remember these birds being so annoying in the console versions because it was so low resolution, it was so hard to see them. Alright, full ammo. Um. <laughs> That's rough. Alright. Yeah, I have to make those lower. Alright, so we go back. Yep, open that up. Yeah, the grenade is so useful. Alright, let's grab the checkpoint first.
<laughs> Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> I feel like the collision detection is better now with your like, your guns. I feel like that's been heavily improved. Alright, so I guess I have to go back up. So I bet it was that big, like, flat wall that was blocking me that's gonna be open. Is that over here? Yeah. I, I wanna say it's, it's this one. Not this one. What am I talking about? It's over here. Yep. Uh, I can't even get that. What the hell? Um... Right, let's see. I think I might have to come down here. Nope. I am mistaken. I will take that. Thank you. Nice that you can shoot those guys from above water. Yeah, let's come back up. Yeah, that's a lot easier. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just imagine having to do these levels in one, one fell swoop. You make one mistake and you die, and it's, you gotta do the whole thing over again. It's just crazy. Actually, I want to come back in here. I want to see if this other column has come down. I don't think it has. Nope. And I don't think this is adjusted. Yeah, I definitely cannot make that. Definitely not. I mean, I guess I have to do this. Maybe I was able to make the jump, and I just wasn't feeling confident about it. Keep going the wrong way there. Yeah, like, I don't think I can make that. Oh, just barely, dude. Holy crap. Here's one. Ow. There's the other. And now uh, I guess I... Hmm. Alright, screw it. Get all my health back. Yeah, absolutely, Ronnie, for sure. Yeah, it's got its own unique vibe and aesthetic, absolutely. And thanks for being on bot duty, Ronnie. I appreciate that too.
Yep. I think if any of those like lowers, that's gonna be the last one, I'm sure. Brandon says, I've never heard of this game. I thought I knew about all the Doom Era FPS games. Uh, trust me, there's probably quite a few you don't know about. There's actually, a, I think, a lot more 90s FPSs than people realize. And this was more one of the more well-known ones, I would say. Well, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe not as well-known as, like, Duke Nukem 3D or, you know, Blood or something like that, but it was, you know... Still pretty well known. Yeah, that's the last switch. But yeah, this was a PC, Saturn, and PlayStation game back in the day. PC version was more like Duke Nukem 3D with, uh, you know, just um, basically a linear flow of levels. Uh, but the console versions were more like uh, non linear action adventure games. Alright, sweet. Oh. Thoth, Treasure, Reliquary. Reliquary? I don't know. Not a word I use daily, that's for sure. Oh, okay. I This is the level I was thinking of earlier. There was a similar stage earlier. I was like, huh, this is... This is the one where in the PS1 version, it's like way more intense. Door is sealed. Cat ladies. Yeah, the cat chicks are pretty fast. Yeah, see, now I'm kind of curious what, like, the difficulty levels are like. You know, hard. Uh, I think, yeah, I think there's three difficulty levels. can't remember what the last one was. Maybe someone earlier had mentioned Nightmare. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's Nightmare difficulty. So unfortunately, I don't think I can get down there. Um, so I'm gonna have to end up coming back here. Man, they're fast. Okay, I think that switch might have actually stopped the lasers. Or am I thinking of a different room? Thank you, said. I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't have these keys yet. I have to go back up. <laughs> I heard you. Oh, 
Oh, it's on a timer. Okay. Well, I'm glad we figured that out. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, that was my, uh... <laughs> I thought that was uh, the lasers coming back. That was actually my power-up uh, going away. Okay. Okay. Man, that's a long jump. I'm wondering if we get that ability I was talking about. Um, that is... Eh. Not the right way. No, well, that's the right way. Partial protection from poison swamp and lava. Okay. It's not really what I wanted, but I'll take it. Hey, Vince! Yeah, it's really good, dude. I highly recommend it. And knowing your taste in FPS games, you'll definitely enjoy it. Uh, I don't know if you ever played the Saturn or PlayStation versions before, but yeah, it's it's great. Okay, um, so what I actually kind of want to do is... Um, I think I know exactly where it wants me to go. But... I would rather get this upgrade. to try is to just hold my grenade for a while and see if I can blow myself up by accident. Because it's definitely something I, I probably need to know about for later on in the game when things get a little more difficult. Yeah, so this right here... Oh yeah, much better. Now, unfortunately, I really wish that they kept it so, or made it so where, like, you didn't have to get the keys all over again. That is something I really feel like they should have added as, like, a quality of life improvement. And it's like, I can't get into this door. It's locked. Even though I've already been in here. So I'm thinking it might just be better to just go back to the beginning and just exit.
Alright, so I've got four blocks of health. Let's see if it kept that. I'm pretty sure it did. Um, but yeah, they want me to do... Uh, not Karnak. Uh, I think it's Karnak Sanctuary is what they want me to do. Yeah, I still got four. Let's see. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Aw, it's a shame there's nothing up here. I felt special for doing that. <laughs> that didn't even do that much. Well, actually, it technically did a full bar of health. Oh, look, we can see. <laughs> we can see off the world map. Uh. Hey, Andy. Yeah, so no, you can actually hold these grenades in as long as you want, which is awesome. Easily one of the best weapons of the game, jeez. A enthused? Yeah, it, it is. It's great. You see, that's interesting. I'm pretty sure in the Saturn version, there's no door that opens up. I'm pretty sure the key is just like right out here. This is what we want. All right, into the marsh. There's our Cobra Staff. Pretty sweet weapon. Yeah, I noticed there were multiple barriers like that. down into the water because that's not working oh there's a key <laughs> okay let's try this again why do I think this game flew under the radar so much on PS1 or Saturn <sighs> that's a good question I don't know Maybe it was just down to there being so many other games available. Uh, and maybe poor advertising, things like that. Um, I mean, there were a bunch of other like big titles that were, were FPS games. Uh, you know, PlayStation already had Doom. It already had uh, Alien Trilogy. And, uh, yeah, some other FPS games, too. Uh, I remember, uh, damn, what's the game called? Uh, Disruptor, I think. I remember that one being, um, somewhat well regarded back in the day. So, I mean, Power Slave might have just 
been an example of a game where, like, you know, something's got to be left behind and not be paid as much attention as, as other games. PlayStation was a crowded market. Saturn, I think it was more that uh, the Saturn just kind of bombed. That's... <laughs> so, like, nothing really did all that well in Saturn. Unfortunately. Especially third-party releases. I don't know. It's just speculation. I don't know why it was it was overlooked back in the day, but yeah, would have been nice if it uh, you know got more attention back then. That's for sure. Yeah, that is true too. Yeah, good point. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider was massive, and a lot of games were kind of I think overlooked because of it. Checkpoints. It doesn't appear like I can open these. Door is sealed. All right, so makes me wonder if I'm even supposed to be here. Like, I know the PC version of this game was, like, super overlooked. Um, I mean, the PC version is a different game. It's, again, like I mentioned already, it's more of, like, a linear first-person shooter. You just go from level to level. Uh, it's totally different level designs and whatnot. And, uh... I don't remember the PC version being looked upon too fondly, so that, you know, maybe that even had, like, a... Slight negative effect on the, the console versions. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Don't think I can get up there. <laughs> now, nah, I wouldn't say real th 3D or nothing, uh, Sean. There were a lot of uh, PS1 games I would still use. Like 2D sprites or, or 2D objects. Um, but yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like full 3D was definitely like all the rage. And that's where the industry was going. I mean, 96, Quake could come out. That was full 3D. Not to say like games with like 2D characters couldn't still be viable, because there were still plenty. You know, that came out in the late 90s. Yeah, you look at something like Power Slave, and then you look at something like Tomb Raider, and you're like, oh yeah, Power Slave does look a little bit uh, less impressive. Two totally different kinds of games, though, I will say. You know, Tomb Raider is, you know, as we all know, it's a 3D platformer. And Power Slave is first-person shooting, primarily. All right, checkpoints. I vaguely remember this. Really? Are these timed? I think they're timed. Yeah. Ow. Nothing like a fireball to the face. Actually, switch back over to that. Oh! 
You can actually sort of hear these guys buzzing. It's more of like a low pitched hum. It's like, mm hmm. Okay, could you stop doing that, please? Jesus, that hurt. <laughs> that cat thing just like took away a ton of my health. Man, all that just to get up here. You know, now if you could just drop your guns, dude, and just grab up with your arms, then you tch, wouldn't have had to take the long way. The scenic route. That's right, I've already been here. Um, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Yeah, so something I wanted to point out is that you'll notice that there are these green barriers and I'm pretty sure like you get something that allows you to unlock those later on in the game. And so I have to remember to come back here. Now, I remember where the other two are that I've, 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 I've seen, but I feel like I'm going to forget this one. Sunken Palace of Yum. Oh God, no, not this level. Get me out of here. <laughs> I died at this level so many times last time I played through this. Well, hopefully it won't be as bad now because of, you know, checkpoints. Oh yeah, that's right. We got underwater mines. Because you know, everybody asked for those. This level. This level. I honestly don't even remember how you're supposed to deal with those things. And I'm dead. This level just gets this is a this is a pretty mean stage. I mean so is much of the rest of the game. Ow. Ow.
Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. I can use grenades underwater. I totally forgot about that. That makes it a lot easier. I love how you can still throw grenades, like, really far underwater. I think I actually need to go back, but we'll, we'll go this way just to kind of see what there is. Makes a lot more sense. Oh, yeah, I am running low on ammo. Why is it doing that? I was doing that because I'm out of ammo. And I'm gonna die. Crap. Ah, so close. Right, let's try this again. We'll do a little bit better this time now that I kind of know what I'm doing. I mean, another thing I can do is get a little cheap. Like, look at that. Much better. I wanted to try to get past them, and I just got a corner, and I was just like, screw it. No point in even trying. Too early in the level. through that door. What? Oh, I can use the Cobra Staff underwater? Yeah. Well, that's handy. <laughs> you can do it! Come on, you can do it! See, I deserve an achievement for that. It takes some, a special kind of skill. There we go.
<laughs> 404 target not found. <laughs> hey, John. Man. You know, I just realized I haven't gotten a checkpoint yet. I'm a little confused, like why no checkpoint? I think this is the first level we've gone through with all this work with no checkpoint. That actually kind of bothers me. This is one of the nastier levels in the game. There's like a real BS, like instant death trap later on if you're uh, not careful. And you gotta go through the entire level just to like even, f you know, experience it for the first time. <laughs> hey, a checkpoint. All right, I can rest easy. Jeez, man. I mean, that was a lot of gameplay. Just remember, in the console versions, there are no mid-level checkpoints. I know I've said that like a dozen times now, but man, I just... I can't emphasize it enough. Ease. All right, which one am I missing? Yeah, because it doesn't tell me what keys I've got and I've already forgotten what keys I have.
See, that was my first one. Let me come back here. Try the other one. Oh, uh, okay. There it is. No snake. I should have one button to open the inventory. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. I'm going to have to go in my, my options menu and see what that is. Yeah, I think it would have been smarter to, uh, to go back. Oh, no, I'll be fine. Alright, so if I remember correctly, this is garbage? Oh wow, I screwed it up. Okay, dude, seriously. Yeah, basically those doors close in on you. But I, I didn't grab the key. I don't think they're going to be open. Let's go to our options, go to uh, input settings, bindings, next page. Left shift, huh? Wow, okay. What a weird key. I think it would have been like something else, not shift. Yeah, see, it's... Uh, I think I'm going to have to do the whole level over again. Actually, oh no! I was going to say load last checkpoint, but I got a new checkpoint. Let's see. God damn it. I think I hear the door is still dropping. Yeah, look at that. They're still closed. And this one closes behind me. Ugh, it's so stupid, man. I absolutely hated figuring this out in the Saturn version. Because you're screwed. You can't do anything. Door is sealed. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's ridiculous, man. I have to do the whole thing over again. So stupid. That is just. Ah, oh, it's ridiculous. There should have been some kind of fix in there that, like, reopens the doors or some kind of switch that reactivates them. It's just insanely, like, archaic. Sally, welcome. I mean, it definitely does help to know what you're doing. Like, having this serpent weapon actually helps a lot. Okay, you know what? Could you stop chomping on my ass? Thank you. No ass chomping. Those things have crazy slash damage. So shifts. All right, I got the time one. Such a big level, too.
<laughs> I knew that was gonna hurt. All right. I don't have much ammo. Try this again. Looks like if you take the right path, you get, uh, you get full ammo. I thought they both led to the same place. work for a whole lot of nothing. Deserted slave camp. I did remember this level too. A lot of this is coming back to me. Yeah, the free look, like, the really responsive, fast free look in this, this game, this updated version, helped so much. Alright, cool. It's also nice knowing what keys I have now. <laughs> so thanks for that tip, guys.
No, John. Make sure I'm not missing anything over here. Okay. Hey, Mike. There just yet, or can I? I can. Okay. Three of the transmitter pieces. Okay. <laughs> That's not cheap.
Oh, I missed it completely. Jeez. How do you miss something like that? I mean, I guess you could touch him and go back and try to get it, but eh. Guess that's the camo I'm supposed to get. I guess so. Hey, I haven't seen you guys in a little while. We're going to start seeing some of the uh, big fire dragons here. Or whatever the hell they are. Uh, I vaguely remember that. Okay.
playing kind of fast now, so... I think I'm missing some switches because of that. Cat ladies are so fast. It's a long jump. Finally got a checkpoint, jeez. Oops. Yeah, still no upgrades. Hey, Monterance. Lynch Media says, thanks for showing this off. My only experience is with the PlayStation version. Yeah, this is definitely worth getting. Absolutely. It's it's definitely, like, the best way to play the game now. For sure. Alright, sounds like we're at a boss fight. Honestly, I wish they would use this music more often. Hey, Encrypt Printer. Yeah, it's a little like Turok, I would say. I remember this boss. I think.
Nullifies force field barriers. Okay. Awesome. About damn time. <laughs> I was wondering when we were going to get that. Uh. Alright, so what I'm going to do is come back here. I'm going to get all my ammo back. I love that I can do this so quickly, too. It's like, I just rush in, I grab the items, I exit. There's one, there's two. All right, so I know a few places I can go. You've been playing for three hours. This was a, gonna be my stopping point, but I'm like, man, we're we're making good progress. I kind of want to just keep going. Uh, was it Set Palace? I don't remember Set Pal. I think Set Palace might have been one. No, it's not. Set Palace is the one with the uh, the barrier. Like the physical barrier. Uh, it's Karnak, Karnak Sanctuary. This may have been one of them. Wait, no, it's not. This is like in the beginning of the game. Okay, do you mind, bird? Bird, seriously. <laughs> All right, uh, Sobek Mountain Shrine, Sobek Pass, it might be this. I don't want to rush through as I've got the uh, the weapon upgrade. There it is. Hey, hey, hey. Camel's not impressed. <clears throat> Magma fields. I might not actually want to be here yet. Yeah, we'll see. We'll try to do it, and if I get stuck somewhere, then uh, I'll go back. Oh, 
door is sealed. Nice. Woo. Yeah, I don't think I can actually go there yet. That's just way too long of a jump. Alright, so yeah, we'll we'll come back. Marsh has one. There's another like palace that I have to go to. It might might be the level after this. I don't remember. We'll check it in a minute. All right, now getting down there, I might not actually be able to get that just yet. Oh, actually, you know what? I I do have an idea. Oh no, it works. Okay, nice. Very tight. All right, sweet. I have to get back to the beginning somehow. That's one pissed off snake staff. If it was this, let's see. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> Get me out of here. No, <laughs> screw that level. Uh, just pass on this burrow. Uh, I don't think it was this. Oh, I remember this. Yep, no, no, definitely not that one. Hey, I, mm. See, I keep coming here again like an idiot. I'm trying to find the level that I'm familiar with. Oh, that's right. It's down there. Forgot I could even go left. There we go.
Uh, there is no infighting, but enemies can hurt each other. I love that the flamethrower just wrecks the mummies. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> There's like no marking or any. What? Uh... Oh, nice, Joe Bob. <laughs> so weird. It's like, Uh, the lobotomy logo, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know if that was in the original game. I mean, I guess I'll escape at that one camel, but, uh... Yeah, that's the original exit. But I don't think it's gonna do me anything, or do anything for me. Do me anything.
Hmm. That's funny. It's like we kind of got trolled there. Yeah, this is the one where, uh... Yeah, I don't have the ability to get through this yet. Hey, Cedar Valley? Yeah, yeah, I'm liking it a lot. It's really good. So this is the one that has... I don't even remember if it's around... Yeah, it's, it's like around here. Yeah, like I don't have the ability to get over there just yet. Let's just uh, exit this map. Actually, I might not be able to. Whee! All right, well first up, let's get our life back because we're kind of running low. Oh, well, we were. I guess it's because I tanked a lot of hits. was the boss level. Yeah, I mean, this is basically where we got the ability to go through the green doors. But I don't remember any other green doors. I guess that's the issue. Hey, Stexor. Strong resistance is bringing you closer to the recovery of my mummified corpse. If you can defeat these forces of chaos, your heroic efforts will be rewarded by the gods. Go now and climb the highest peak in the valley. There you will find the last of the six artifacts. The highest peak in the valley. I mean, it's giving me an alternate pathway here. Oh. 
Damn, man. So, like, I just don't have the ability to get over there right now. I don't have... I don't have the hover thing that, uh... I feel like I'm supposed to have by this point. I'm at a loss right now. I don't know. In the magma fields, you can make that jump. See, I know there was uh, this area I went to. There was a jump that looked like it was impossible, so I just. Uh, I mean, maybe there's a maybe the jump I was thinking of I can make. It definitely didn't look like I can make it. Like that. Ah, oh, look at that, I can. I would have eventually come back and tried this again, but I didn't think that would have been the answer, but... Well, I'm glad we have the answer, at least. Yeah, a lot of people use the grenade jump in this game. I try to avoid it, because I'm not... Shit. I was gonna say, I'm not trying to sequence break. I'd like to try to do it, like, the normal way first, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see... Fall down. Oh, there he is. Hey, Saboteur. Get an old checkpoint. weapon. Cool. 
Yeah, it's Dexter. I'm not sure if it's actually mandatory, but it sure seemed like it to me when I played it. I know I ended up having a grenade jump. I was like, this is like one of the most BS design choices I've ever seen in my life. But again, I don't know. Maybe I was just missing something or what. Jeez, there's three of them? Okay, that's this kind of sucks actually. <laughs> I'm pinned. Uh, so Saboteur, the original PC version is different from this. This is basically an updated modern port of like the Saturn and PS1 versions. Supposedly they're sort of like meshed together. Uh oh, not good. Yeah, one of these years, or decades, hopefully I'll be able to play the original PC version on stream. Glad this is going down at an angle, <laughs> otherwise I would totally hit that lava and die. Uh, seriously, dude! Seriously! Imagine doing that in the console version and dying. You would probably rip your console out of its wall sock and throw it out of the window. I know I would. I mean, like I said, Savator, like, I, I'm not Savator, uh, Stexor. Too many people with ors in their names. Um. Like, I've only watched, like, a long play or two, and they, they do the grenade job, but like I said, I don't know if it's, uh, required. Nuno in chats is it's not, so... I guess, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's try this again. Yeah, Mike, the original console versions are a lot more difficult because of the fact that there's no, like, there aren't any mid-level checkpoints. Crap, this is not good. Powerful weapon. I like it. Ah, 
Nice. Okay, so those walls are triggered by uh, the death of those demons. Hey, DG, welcome to the stream. Peak. Oh, that's what he meant by the highest uh, point. It's all making sense now. I remember that. This weapon reminds me of something in Hexen. Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> yeah, these falling platforms, these were a pain in the ass in the uh, console versions. You get a second chance here. I don't remember getting a second chance in the console versions. Nice graphical glitching there. Yeah, that's not that that was not wise. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to skip those guys. Doesn't really matter that much. Yes! So now we can just lev levitate, as they call it. The gods are pleased that you have 
have collected all of the six artifacts, but the pursuit for peace is not over. Seek out my corpse and return it to this tomb. But be warned, the Queen of the Kilmot Empire is furious with your doings and will tear your body to pieces unless you are properly armed. Uh, Stexor, this is the normal difficulty. remember if I can lower that barrier here yet, but we're going to go ahead and just try. What am I doing? Yeah, I feel like we have to undo those lasers and then we can we might be able to jump around them. Oh, I forgot. This is over here. Actually, no, it's not necessary. Oh, that's how you do it. Did I miss that switch last time? I might have. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I love that I can just float in the air now. Uh oh. Sweet. Nice. Oh, sorry, camel. Thought you were an imp from Doom. All right, cool. Actually, I want to get all my my ammo back. And my health. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, the boss is gone. <laughs> I was already like, huh, you gotta reappear. PC version, he goes, See ya! He's got one liners. They tried to make your character edgy like it's uh, Duke Nukem. I we just need one more piece. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I think I have to play through the whole level again. You're gonna like it a lot, Stexor. It's a much smoother playthrough than the Saturn version, that's for sure. <laughs> These things do quite a bit of damage. Probably wasn't worth it. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I can get back up top to get to my camel, so I have to actually play through this stage. Uh, what was I doing again? That's right, coming this way.
Are you kidding me? No! Fudge! Did it credit me whatever I got? Um, oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I had to do the whole level over again. I'm still in Saturn mode. <laughs> Stupid Saturn version. <laughs> okay, that's not so bad. right ah <laughs> oh, so much repetitive gameplay on this map it's like go here three times exciting there we go Yeah, they, they do give you the option to turn them off. I don't know why you would want to, outside of just, you know, being a masochist, maybe? I get that, you know? I wouldn't do it myself, personally, because I think it makes the game a whole lot of not fun when you die. But, you know, to each their own. Oh, man. Alright, so what was I doing? See, now I'm trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> Masochist, I mean, nostalgia. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm actually kind of at a loss on where to go now. Because I don't hear any other beeping tones. Yes, yes, you're right. Long lava pit. Completely forgot about it. Thanks, guys. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's the only place with another arrow, right? Sorry, I've got food in my mind right now. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been streaming for four hours. Uh, the idea was to actually uh, stop the stream early, but I mean, we've 
it's been a pretty smooth run overall. Like, I might as well just finish the game, right? tight. Hey, there's our last beep. Canyons of Chaos. Oh no, is this the level I think it is? Oh. <laughs> I unfortunately remember the hell out of this level. This was not a fun level in the Saturn version. Austin needs food badly. Austin also needs to play some Gauntlet Dark Legacy. <laughs> hey, Nate. Yeah, no, this is the uh, the new version that just came out um, in the last day or two. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Saturn version, for a game of its time, it does run pretty well. But yeah, this is not the Saturn version. It's like just remembering where to go on this map is hard. so dumb. Oh, man. Freaking game, I tell you. I mean, that's good. Got some health. I need it.
Sean says, Dad, did I get a mental image of the PC flying around the flamethrower like he was a, a rocket booster? <laughs> oh, the player character. Is anything cool unlocked after you find all the developer dolls? Or was it just the set? Uh, I'm not sure about that. I do remember finding a couple in the Saturn version, but, um... Were they even in the PlayStation version? Does anybody know? Dexter says you unlock dolphin mode. Like, why can't I blow that up? It's just... Oh... Uh, the lasers. Ugh. It's because it's up there. <laughs> it <laughs> it boosted me up. I almost kind of want to see if I can get it to boost me right here. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Earlier I was like, I don't want a sequence break, it's cheating. <laughs> oh well, who cares? <laughs> supposed to do no shot it's not yeah they were on my side though what what just happened I don't even know what just happened super weird so somehow that opened I don't know how you guys saw me try to throw grenades at it over and over again so I mean I don't think I was doing anything wrong like, I'd like to get in there I want to jump over there oh I see okay
That's more like it. That's right, I have two keys. Hopefully. Isn't this like where one of the dolls is in the Saturn version? Or something like that? No, I think I'm getting it confused for something else. Symbol of time. I think I had to go all the way back. Oh, hey. So I don't, uh, I don't think anyone answered. Uh, are the dolls in the PlayStation version, or is that just the Saturn one? And if not, I assume there are no dolls in this version? Oh, they are in the PS1 version. Okay, so they must be in this version, too. weapon. If I actually have to kill these guys, bird, please. Ah, oh, this level. Why?
That's my last key. Um, shit, I don't know if I can actually get back. Okay, no, I can't. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I can't really try the, uh, the supposed laser puzzle. I'm way too far ahead. Yeah, I mean, was that wall of, like, skulls supposed to blow up? I assume it was. I switched to my machete while still holding a grenade, and when I switched weapons, it launched the grenade for me. The gods are pleased that you have collected. Oh jeez, these guys. I totally forgot about them. That's just mean. Hey, Crestline. Yeah, my camel's just chilling up there. <laughs> oh, the life of a camel. Yeah, I remember like these these high platforms. Yeah, 
yeah, <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> Man, it's so much easier when it runs at 60 FPS. But Vance, he's just chilling and having a good time. Like camels always do. Yeah, this is the part I had to grenade jump. to chime in they say you don't have to grenade jump maybe you have to do things in a certain order I have this weapon because I just got it. I'm gonna go AFK. We're almost at the end of the game, dude. You're gonna miss out. save. Yeah, see, one of those enemies died because uh, they got shot by the other enemy, but they didn't turn around and fight each other. Coming for you, man. <laughs> I 
Yeah, you're right. I could just grenade jump over there if I really wanted to. Easy camel. Um, oh, there we go. I was like, that almost looks like the same place. Did I mess up? I don't even remember this level. I wonder if this is like one of those like PlayStation like exclusive maps. What do you say, Stexorus? Did you play through the Saturn version more recently than I have? You know what? I should have gotten health. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, Sean, right. Who cares? We have checkpoints. <laughs> Granted, I'm going to have to play about perfectly, but that's okay. level doesn't exist in the Saturn version. Okay. I was gonna say, like, I know I'd recognize it at least a little bit. I mean, I recognize the previous level, so...
Oh, come on. Hey, Aqua is still out there, I see. Well, this is going to be slightly on the frustrating side of things. Say nor the third level on the mines. What do you mean? Yeah, I'd have to figure out what level you're talking about. Ah, uh, uh, uh. I do that all over again. The problem is I can't get back to the beginning without going through this whole area and... Ugh, God damn it. Alright, I need a better weapon here. Play it safe, guys. I don't want to have to redo this a thousand times. <laughs> oh, maybe stacks are we just have misinformation. Maybe the grenade jump is required. So if anyone watching on the archive stumbles upon this four and a half hours in, um, let us know if the grenade jump is required on this level. Kill Matt Colony. Oops. Wow. Those things instant kill you. That's crazy. Did 
I feel like I don't even have to hit that switch. Yeah, see that was weird, like that door wasn't, uh, wasn't down. I'm almost wondering if I'm supposed to hit this. Flip that. Yeah, so I mean, just to FYA for anybody. I didn't touch the fucking platform! Jesus Christ, oh my god. It's starting to really irritate me. Like, I don't remember this level at all. Like, I don't even remember if I beat the PlayStation version back in the day. Like, I had it. I know I played it a good bit. But, yeah, so I don't even remember this level pretty much. So, this is basically all trial and error for me right now. Hey, Greg. Oh, this is my problem. I'm supposed to come up here. At least this is what I did last time. Oh, that's... Okay, never mind. Wow, I can blow it up from there? Okay. Hello! Um, help. Well, that is interesting. You can take this... Well, I was gonna say multiple ways, but... Maybe not? Maybe sort of, kind of, not really? No, it's still... It's like, I've already forgotten how I've opened up that door. Oh, maybe that was how. Yep. That's it, there's not anything in there except for the fish. Uh, I made a big deal out of nothing. Making a mountain out of a molehill. Okay, that sucked. Really not doing all that much better on health. Or ammo.
<laughs> Look at all them bouncing around. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, and I don't want a grenade jump. I really did not want to do that, but I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. That's what. <laughs> right? I don't want a grenade. Fudge. I don't want a grenade jump, so I'll staff jump instead. <laughs> Doing this completely backwards, it seems like. I mean, it's kind of cool that you can do it backwards, I guess. I'm always a fan of being able to sequence break. I just hate it when the more obvious solution is to sequence break, you know? Like, sequence breaking should be something that's, like, clever. All right, see you, DJ or DG. Sorry.
Wait, what? Yeah, that was just... I had a feeling it was going to take me there. Ugh. Yeah, it's like I'm supposed to get back up top, go to the right, I guess? But I can't... Uh... Uh, I mean, I did sequence breaks, Dexar, but I'm still stuck. And I don't have enough health to sequence break again. Take, I know I'm supposed to try to get up here. But how I get up there, I have no freaking idea. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> you and me both, Stexor, not Stexor, um, Savator. Yeah, there's the camel. Yeah, so I mean, I have to get up there, but I don't know how. But yeah, Staxor, this is where I did the sequence break. I used my staff to to jump up high.
Like, I know there's nothing else over here for me to do. I mean, we've done everything. Oh, jeez. I'm missing a key too. I'm out of ammo for the staff. Shoot. I can't even do the staff jump if I wanted to. Yeah, sorry, Stex, sir. I was expecting this to end earlier, too, but here we are. It's like I can't squeeze through this window. Man, what was I missing? I'm gonna have to go back and watch a long play to see what the strategy is because I mean I, I ran around in circles for ages I mean unless there was like another locked door earlier on that I completely forgot about But I don't think there was I don't know if there's a uh, full power up there, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab it here Almost there, guys. Kill, kill Matt Hart. <laughs> no, look, there is. Nice. my abilities. <laughs> Had a feeling.
definitely sounds like mid 90s music. Funny enough, that's probably one of the easier bosses. Looks like we did it, guys. Five hours. It's approximately half the amount of time it took me to beat the Saturn version. Aquas. is no longer in danger. At last, the people of Egypt can begin rebuilding the new kingdom. The world rejoices and a huge ceremony is held in your honor. A renewed sense of peace and happiness is adopted by everyone on Earth. Several centuries later, your immortal power is proven superior to all other living creatures and you become king of the world. <laughs> yeah, it's got the music from the um, original PC version. I totally forgot about this theme. Well, there we go, guys. I wasn't planning on doing a full playthrough, but here we go. <laughs> Maybe some slight redemption for that horrible Saturn playthrough years ago. But yeah, no, this was, this was fun. This was good. I'm gonna have to see what the higher difficulties are like. I'm very curious about that. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Agostino, much appreciated. Looking at the credits.
All right, nice. Throwback Entertainment. Who the hell is Throwback Entertainment? Never heard of him before. But Night Dive still did the conversion, so. But yeah, there you go, guys. That is Power Slave Exhumed. It's pretty sweet. Uh, let me let this sit here and see if uh, see if it'll play the intro. Yeah, Joe Bob, that's I mean, a good question. I don't think it's gonna play the intro without uh, doing anything. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, Pharaoh is the highest difficulty. I'm just curious what this is gonna be like, real quick. Probably like way less health drops and ammo drops. Well, it doesn't seem like it so far. Florian says it's more enemies and they're more powerful. Honestly, that would be more fun. Oh yeah. This wasn't this room basically empty previously. Yeah, I could definitely tell there were more enemies. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> I just don't have much ammo. Yeah, Joe, I mean, so... It would really depend on like how familiar you are with the game. If, if it's like your first time playing, I, I wouldn't do it, personally. Because um, some of these levels can be frustrating enough to learn as is. But then I feel like you've already beaten the game, then yeah, I think it's probably worth, worth trying. But, okay. Well, um, I think that is going to do it for me, guys. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Um, that was that was pretty fun. Definitely, uh, definitely recommend it. Especially if you've never played Power Slave before. If you've never played Power Slave before, 
Um, I mean, this is like the this is like the way to get into it. Honestly, it's definitely um, a little more streamlined with the checkpoint system and um, obviously dual analog stick if you're on a console or keyboard and a mouse if you're on PC. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is hands down, I think, the best way to play Power Slave. So, yeah, that was kind of like a fun little surprise stream. Like I said, I wasn't planning on finishing it. I was probably planning on, like, dipping out a couple hours ago and going out and doing something because it's Friday night. But um, we were having such a, a good rhythm. I was like, you know what? We might as well just stick it out to the end. So, so yeah, good times. Good old Power Slave. I wish I could play the actual PlayStation version, but I don't have an optical drive emulator for my PS1. And the physical disc is just, like, way too expensive now, so... Um... But, uh, people were saying this was, like, more so based around the uh, PS1 version. Uh, although, like, this first area is definitely more Saturn-esque, because the PlayStation version has, like, a bunch of walls and stuff to speed up the frame rate. It's kind of interesting. But, uh, alrighty guys, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. It's been a long day for me. I wake up around 6 a.m. to work, and it is, uh, 8.45, just about p.m. right now, so it's been a long day for me. Um, but I'm gonna get some food, and I'm gonna chill out for a little bit, and yeah, that's it. So... Yeah, thank you for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Thanks to everyone that did Super Chats today. Much appreciated as well. Uh, archive will probably be up sometime tomorrow. Uh, considering our stream was about five hours, this will take a little while to process. Uh, I'll try to time code it a little bit. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of maps in this game, and we have to go back to several maps, so I'm not sure how time codes are going to really work out for that. But, um, yeah, we'll see. But alrighty, folks, have yourselves a fantastic day or night, wherever you are. And I guess until the next one, take it easy.